A Scottish boxer has died of severe brain injuries that he received during a bout. Mike Towell suffered bleeding on the brain in his fight against Dale Evans in Glasgow on Thursday. It was stopped by the referee in the fifth round. He was taken from the ring on a stretcher, taken to hospital, but he died late last night. Katie Spencer has got more details for us, and, and here we are again. And it's not overly often that we report about deaths related to boxing, but this is going to raise so many concerns again. It certainly does. Uh, I mean, the sad news was confirmed overnight by his management. He really was a, a rising star within the boxing community. Uh, the fight on Thursday that he was taking part in was an eliminator for the welterweight, British welterweight title. Uh, he was knocked down in the first round, recovered and managed to continue the fight, uh, but the referee stopped the fight in the fifth round after he was knocked down for a second time. He was uh, treated in the ring, given oxygen and then rushed straight to hospital, uh, but he had suffered very severe injuries and he died at 11 o'clock last night, 12 hours after being taken off of life support. Uh, now, the boxing community has been paying tribute all morning. Uh, there have been a number of tweets from some leading stars within, within boxing. Former European champion Spencer Oliver, who himself suffered a brain injury which ended his career, wrote online, so saddened to hear of the devastating news that Mike Tal has passed away. My thoughts and prayers are with with his family and friends. Trainer Shane McGuigan said on Twitter, heartbreaking news that Mike Tao has lost his life. May he rest in peace. Thoughts go out to his loved ones. And promoter Eddie Hearn said, absolutely devastated by the passing of Mike Tao. All our thoughts are with his friends and family at this time. Uh, this referee actually was also the man who was in charge of a fight which took place in March between Chris Eubank Jr. and Nick Blackwell, which you might remember hit the headlines because Blackwell ended up suffering a bleed on his skull, which put an end to his career. Clearly there will need to be an investigation into exactly what went on on Thursday during the match. It has been a number of years though since we've had a death in this, in this country as a result of boxing. 2013 was the last time when uh, Michael Norgrove, a boxer from London, ended up dying as a, a, as a result of the injuries that he suffered. Clearly though this does once again raise the debate of, about safety and the risks of boxing. Yeah, it certainly does. Okay Casey for now, thank you.